If you have a watch like this one, then you're lucky because that means you can measure the speed or even distance of something traveling. How? You use the numbers on the rim. Let me show you how with uh, the average speed first. For that you'll need to know the distance between two points. And let's say the distance is one kilometer or one mile for the Americans. So when you arrive at point A, you start the chronometer of the clock. Now when you've passed point B, which was one kilometer away from point A, you stop it. Now once you passed point B, you stopped the chronometer and it arrived here, which is exactly 200. That means the average speed was 200 km per hour. But if you have two points that are a mile from each other, that means this, your speed would have been 200 miles per, per hour. It doesn't uh, depend on a scale. Now you, let's say you want the average speed of something that you record and it takes more than a minute because, as you can see, a, clock, a watch can only record a minute this way. Well, you'll just have to divide your time by, let's say, half or a quarter, and then look on the rim where the distance... what, and then look on the rim what number is at the speed, and divide that by half or a quarter, what you divided your time by. Now the last thing I'll show you is how to measure the distance. For that you need to know the speed. Let's say your speed is uh, 700, the biggest here, and you just start your uh, chronometer Now when it reached 700 it means you traveled a kilometer if your speed is 700 kilometers per hour or a mile if your speed is 700 miles per hour. Not that hard. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.